As it happens, fishing is the way to go for this one. So I guess we're starting this new episode, you guys, with a fishing level. So 80 fishing coming in. Anything new? Yes, in fact, members can now catch infernal eels. Oh, I believe these are the ones where you crush them with a hammer and you can get onyx bolt tips if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, of course, but yeah, I guess two more levels till 82 when we will be able to start catching the minnows, uh, which I will most likely end up doing for most of my XP or at least for some of it because I God damn, love those sharks, but also other than that, with this skill being level 80 now, I only have two skills left, which are smithing and runecrafting for 80 plus all skills. Well, fuck me, another crappy item that almost freaked me out coming in, I guess. God damn, dude, these dragon items with purple text are so fucking annoying at this place, but... Yeah, I guess I'll take it. Well, look at that. Time to waste some more prayer potions, I guess. Or finish Cerberus, I guess, because Kiwi still need that vacation and smoldering stone. So, well, and the jar and the pep. But, you know, what I meant is the crystal wise. But anyways, I'm not going to do the task right now because I'm having a little trouble, actually. Because if you guys look at my bank... I have 816 plus out of 816 bank spaces, you know, filled, I guess, or used or whatever. So I really need to free up some space. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to try and finish off the stash units for my medium and elite clues, at least the ones that I can finish off because I already have completed easy ones like a lot earlier when I was still working on my construction grind and I actually finished the last stash for hard clues like a few days ago so I don't have too many mediums left but I have a bunch of items as you guys can see like they, they are all random trash items so after I fill up those stashes I will be able to free myself off like 20 or 30 at least you know bank spaces so let's go ahead and do that and we will see how the bank looks after that I guess Okay, so there is the last medium stash. Let's build it, store it, and there we go. With this stash, I have now completed all the easy, medium, and hard stashes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to complete as many elite ones as I can. And after that, I guess we'll go and check if this mission was successful, I guess, and how many bank spaces I have freed up. Okay, so I finished uh, filling these stashes. I completed almost every elite as well. I only have three more left for which I need to obtain items to complete those, which are Zamorak Mitre, a Circle, and Black Bob's Shirt. So that will be completed after I get those items in the future. And I actually managed to fill eight Master Stashes as well, which is kind of nice you know so still got loads of those to fill up though but I guess I'll do that in the future because obviously those require quite a few items high level items but other than that so I had full bank before I started take a guess how many items do you think I you guys uh, I cleaned up and now look at this 747 I managed to clean 70 items that is amazing. So, uh, yeah, that's how the tab looks like. Honestly, all the clue items that, you know, are obtained, I guess, that I still need to store in my POH. Uh, dropped out some quest items. I still could drop a bunch of items out of here, but I'm gonna keep them in case I actually, you know, end up needing them for something or... I don't know. But, yeah, other than that, that was a really nice bank cleanup. So, uh, yeah. Let's move on, I guess. So the update just happened and we got ourselves a new quest, which is the novice tier quest, I believe, which is the another quest in the line for the Kardash memories or whatever. And after we complete this one, you know, I think it's going to be the 3 out of 5. Well, actually, we can just check. Yeah, so after I complete this one, I will get the third page for the... Uh, memoir and also it will increase the teleports and because it will add eight additional charges which means we will have 24 teleports on the book instead of just 16 so that sounds pretty good so now let's go ahead and knock it out and yeah I guess we'll see what's 
in it after. Okay, and there we go. Uh, that was easy. I <laughs> guess nothing much else to say here. 263 new total quest points now. And no, I don't need anything else. Get the fuck off. So now we get this. Yeah, new page for the book. Let's just add it right here. Right there we go. And now let's see. Shazian, where does it teleport? Uh, okay, what is it? Okay, here, so not too far from the bank, not bad, I guess it's an alternative in case you don't have the amulet teleport, and it does teleport somewhat close the chasm of fire, I guess, if you don't have the favoriting, so, I don't know, I don't think I will use it, but, yeah, other than that, I will definitely take it, though, so, what is that? Oh, ten percent she's in favor. Too bad I'm one hundred percent all the favors. Uh, yeah, let's get back to killing lizardmen shipments. Hey, look at that! Eighty-three wood cutting coming in, you guys. Lovely. So, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, just doing some wood cutting, making some more planks and. Up until now, I still have been woodcutting oaks and making planks in Rubington, but I honestly just realized that I am really at the point on my account where I don't really need to do those anymore. I can honestly just do teak set because I'm not gonna lie, I kind of completely forgot about this and I saw someone saw post some picture on Twitter and I realized that I can do this as well. So yeah, that's what I am doing right now. Not sure how much I will be do of this I will be doing, but XP per hour right here is pretty good. I am averaging about 55k XP per hour AFKing, so I'm, you know, honestly glad about that. And I was actually checking, I need somewhat 80k logs for 99 construction with the logs that I have in my bank right now. I already have like 13k in my bank, so in total I need like 93k TX. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get that, you know, completely completed but other than that really enjoying this place so yeah no more oaks in Remington for me I guess hey this time I didn't miss it <laughs> there we go <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> oh my god sorry I, it's still morning so I'm kind of <clears throat> rusty but yeah 97 uh, range coming in you guys uh, yeah new day means some more shaman grinding and yeah not too long ago got myself a lovely dragon stone lovely in quotes of course because fucking hate this shit already uh kc wise i don't think i gave you guys a kc update in a while so currently i am at 5.2k kc so it's going bad honestly i am past the drop rate now but i i I completely understand that I have absolutely no right to complain because as I mentioned many times before I've been lucky every, at every single place where you know where I was doing killing something so it's about time I was I went dry on something but I kind of wish it wasn't at this place because honestly it just there is nothing in it for me like there is nothing good out of this for me other than the dragon warhammer but you know, it has to be done, I guess. Oh! Ancient page 3. Do I have that? Do I actually have that? Please be last page for ancient book. Ah. So I was scrolling through my bank and I realized that I have a healthy amount of herbs once again, so... I figured I might as well use them up and get like a herbal level or two, I don't know. Anyways, first one coming in, of course, 80 fire, uh, 84, sorry, herbal, and we can now make upgraded anti-fire potions. I have no idea how you even make those, but other than that, 307k till 85, I'm not sure if I have enough from the potions that I can make instantly, but I guess we'll see, and... Uh, after I make up all of the uh, secondaries that I have right now, I'm actually gonna go ahead and collect myself 2k plus uh, Mortimer Fungis, so I can f at last make these, you know, super energies out of these Aventos that I'm having in my bank for quite a long time now, so uh, yeah, for now let's just finish making uh, the remaining potions.
Okay, so I finished all my regular potions and I was like... 3? Wait, no, 30k XP away, so I figured I would go ahead and quickly finish it off with some stamina potions because I bought myself the amylized crystals with all the, all the graces that I had. I had like 180 in my bank actually, which allowed me to buy like 1.8k marks of uh, amylized crystals, which is pretty nice. So, of course, 85 herbal are coming in. You can now mix a Zamark mix. I don't really think I need that or will ever do that, but... Uh, what is actually nice about this level 85 is the level where I can boost to make myself super combat potions with these twos. I'm not gonna do that, of course, because that would be a complete waste of time. But other than that, I am actually 339k away from 86 and I'm gonna stop making these. I just wanted to get the level quickly because I honestly just needed to make two inventories of stamina to get this level. So now I'm gonna go ahead and collect these 2.3k uh, Mortmire Fungi so I can make the super energies and after I make these and the stamina thought potions I think I should be able to get myself level 86 I guess we'll see but other than that let's go ahead and pick those mushrooms I am actually going to be back with that clip tomorrow because it's really late now and I'm going to sleep before I can finish collecting them and you know I always do Elizabeth Shamans in the morning so Hopefully the next clip of me is either getting Dragon Warhammer or, you know, me rage quitting once again. Oh fuck, you, honestly, a curved bone, my second one, it's one in 5k exactly as the Dragon Warhammer, I am legit about to fucking start crying. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. 98 range I guess it's uh coming it's it's pretty obvious so I think I asked in the same episode what do you guys will uh, think will happen first 99 range or dragon warhammer and so far it looks like dragon warhammer is nowhere to be found uh KC wise uh, I checked like before I started this um trip I was almost at 7k KC, which is almost, you know, 50% above the drop rate, which is sad. But I think I said too many times already this episode that I have no right to complain, so I will try not to. But what is weird, it's actually been over a week since I uploaded, and I'm kind of feeling bad because, you know, lately all I've been trying to focus on is... Lizard and Shamans, and because of that, I haven't been, you know, I haven't gained any clips, really, so, like, the episode is pretty much, you know, staying at one, at the same spot, not moving forward at all, so I'm not sure what to do about this. I mean, if I could have to get the Warhammer, you know, sometime soon, I will just wrap up the episode on it, but other than that, this situation I got myself into kind of sucks, not gonna lie, but, you know... Nonetheless, I'm not quitting, not now, at least 7k KC, like, that's just crazy. Okay, so anyways, I think it's about time I conclude this goddamn unlucky, worthless episode. I'm not even sure how to call this because I'm not really happy about this one, but, you know. Anyway, so there we go for 86 herb lore. You can now make stamina mix, uh, that's something new, but yeah, anyways, if you guys... Did not forget yet what happened a few minutes ago. I did get those two herb lore levels and I was really close after I made all the potions. I was once again like 25k XP away and uh, I basically did one herb run and I got myself enough herbs to finish off this level. So uh, yeah, I guess another level closer to making super combat potions, which I honestly cannot wait because... Putting once instead of three times is obviously just great. But anyways, before I wrap up, I wanted once again the last time to talk about Lizardman Shamans. I think I'm actually going to take a little break. I know I it, and I know that it feels kind of stupid to be doing that at the same time because I am at, right now I am at 7.3 kkc and it feels like I should get it sooner rather than later because you know me being above the drop weight uh, and. At the same time, I've seen MMORPG RS, like, 
how how long did it take him like 18k or some shit i don't know like i've seen other people go dry as hell as, as well and you know i probably will go dry on this thing too assuming i have been lucky everywhere else so uh i don't know how long of a break i will take from that place uh because i just like I just mentally can't do that shit anymore. Like it's 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 a horrible place for Iron Man. Like if you guys did that, you ex know exact well for a longer period of time. You know exactly what I'm talking about because you're constantly getting crashed and you can't do anything about. It. If someone places a cannon, you're instantly screwed because if cannon tags your you know lizardman and even if it hits a zero, it doesn't matter because you won't get the drop already and you're just instantly forced to hop and after you know you lose that world that might you're you might not be able to find the world like in one or two timeout sessions you know when you can't hop anymore because of too many hops or whatever so uh and another thing actually is i did not expect to use most of my zolra supplies i guess i should call them for a fucking dragon warhammer grind because as you guys can see, I have zero Addy darts here, and I guess I can, you know, ch show you guys, check the blowpipe. I have 231 k, uh, 231 Addy darts, and okay, 15 k scales in here, so, okay, so like 50 k scales left. I had 150 k scales, so for this stupid grind already, I used 100 k scales. As well as 35, was it? Something around 35 k Addy darts, like... For a Dragon Warhammer, if I knew that, you know, I had this outcome when I started, I would have used fucking Mithril Darts, and that's what I will have to use now anyways, but I, I mean, I don't know, man, I, and I'm sorry because I am complaining now, I am because I'm so frustrated with that place, I'm, like, I, I realize that now, so I think what I will do in next episode, I will chill with either... Some Slayer, because I still have that server stats that I received, and I haven't made this single kill on, you know, a single kill on that task, and or I actually might go ahead and do some barrels, since I have imbued heart right now, and the only thing that was holding me back from doing some more barrels was because I wanted to get an imbued heart, so now that I have it, I can actually go back to it and, you know, increase my barrels items count a bit, because I honestly still have all the items after I completed my Darrow set, so yeah, it would be nice to increase that amount or whatever but yeah oh my god i can't believe i extended this clip for four minutes anyways i hope you guys enjoyed whatever this thing I, I i'm not even sure what this episode was but i still hope you guys enjoyed listening to me and yeah hopefully the next episode won't won't take as long because this episode took me like fucking 10 days to make and i got nothing done in it it's crazy so yeah thank you guys and i will see you in the next episode hopefully with some nice barrel sarangi